Stocks on Wall Street making minor moves Monday. Right now, the S&P 500 up just one-tenth of a percent. Well, our next guest says she's noticing her clients are increasingly doing what's called asymmetric rebalancing. Let's find out what that it means and whether it's good for investors as a practice. We're joined by Carol Schleif. She is Deputy Chief Investment Officer at Abbott Downing. Welcome, Carol. Thank you. So what is asymmetric uh, rebalancing and how does it differ from normal rebalancing? I think in normal rebalancing, you've got people that are willing to buy and sell on the same day under the auspices of trying to stay fully invested. Asymmetric means they're a little more willing to do some trims when they see things get uh, overvalued or um, too, too big a percentage perform a lot better than the rest of their portfolio. They're more willing to pull some money off the table on those and sit for a bit, even a day or two, being more cautious about where to put it back into the market. And short-term rates have helped because they've been higher and you've been paid to, to be willing to sit in a little bit higher cash. Paid to wait. So, um, well, what is the, uh, what is that mean in terms of the mood of the market, the mood of investors? I think it's indicative of the fact that people, you've re got a real push me, pull you kind of economy and market. The data is mixed. Even today's data out is mixed where manufacturing is a little stronger and some of the services numbers are a little weaker, which is counter to the trend that's been there. So that fact of people don't want to be all the way out, but they don't necessarily want to fully commit, especially in, in advance of earnings seasons in, in a couple weeks. It would this practice of asymmetric rebalancing, is that something that you would suggest that uh, your clients do on a normal basis, or is it better to just do the regular rebalancing where, where you just sell it and buy something else the same day? It, 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 your timing, I guess, in, it, in effect. It, to an extent, but we're not market timers per se, but in markets like this where there's a lot of big decisions set to come, you've got trade meetings going on, you've got earnings coming up, and you've got an ability to get paid a little bit to sit in, in cash. Sometimes psychologically, it, it varies client by client in terms of what they're comfortable doing and it entails a discussion with the clients. Um, more often than not, regular rebalancing is something that we do regularly anyway and typically it is pretty routine in terms of, even my 401k is on auto rebalance where it sells and buys on the same day and moves that. Markets like this, a lot of times, though, especially if you're making any larger repositioning moves where you might be taking 5 or 10% out of a category and moving it someplace else, it might make some sense to put part of it there and reevaluate and double check on cash needs and going into the end of the year. So Right, because you can get 2% in cash right, right. Uh, nowadays, right. which isn't bad. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Carol, for those tips on uh, rebalancing. Our thanks to Carol Schleif of Abbott Downing. I'm Fred Katayama. This is Reuters.